Oh, it's got to go. Plenty of time, so don't worry if you can't get it. Anyway. Is that okay? Mm-mm. Here, can you hold this? Just on that. Hello everyone, I'm Angela Veck. I'm the owner of Peaceful Quilting and we'd like to welcome you to our little quilt shop here on Long Island in East Northport. Um, our address is 3027 Jericho Turnpike. We're right in the middle of Long Island, uh, East Northport. Um, B uh, the shot that you just saw beforehand gave you our phone and our hours and our website. Our website is very important. Um, we've gotten a lot more activity on our website lately since the um, coronavirus has hit. But we like to see you in person. We like to see you on the website as well. Um, I'm going to give you a little short history of Peaceful Quilting. We've been in business since 2003. In 2003, I still had a business career and I decided I wanted to, to start my own business. So I kept my day job and I opened a business online, yes, online in 2003, and I did quilt shows. And the quilt shows we did, sometimes we did as much as 15 or 16 a year, which was a lot, thanks to my loving husband who did the shows with me. Um, and then in 2006, the local quilt shop ladies decided to retire and so we took over the space that they occupied and we changed things around and we expanded the space a little bit and we were in Riverhead, which is where I live, in Riverhead um, on Long Island. Notice we say on Long Island, we don't say in Long Island. <laughs> That's a Long Island thing. Um, so we opened the, the, our little brick and mortar shop and in 2009, we opened a second shop here in East Northport. Now, 2009 was the, the height of the economic disaster, the, two th the 2008, but what happened was I applied for a loan, and lo and behold, I got it. So then I was, I had to follow through. So now I had two quilt shops, which was fun. They were, they had a little bit, bit different um, flavor, each of them, and in 2012, Superstorm Sandy hit the store in Riverhead, and it was, it was pretty bad. It really wiped out the whole store. We lost the store, and we had a choice. We could either close it or open in a new location. So we opened in a new location in Calverton, and you know what they say about real estate, location, location, location. It was not a good location. So after two years, we closed the Calverton store, and now we only have the East Northport store. Um, and then the COVID pandemic hit in 2020. So here we are. We are online, and we have the brick and mortar store. And we're in a state of flux right now in terms of whether we go more online, more uh, brick and mortar. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but we're having fun in the meantime. I have a fabulous staff. I have four staff members who, among us, we have over 150 years experience and we learn every day. We learn from each other. So it's, it's great. I have a really great staff. Um, we have an eclectic selection of fabrics. We have um, pre-cuts. We beefed up our pre-cut pre selections. I'll show you. Here they are right now. Our pre-cut selections, we beefed that up. This is just a small selection of what we have. 
and we have a selection of batiks which are over in this direction and we carry the the more modern stuff like tulip pink that's becoming more and more popular in this shop and then we have an extensive color wall uh, you can probably if we look down this way you can see our color wall the difference between our color wall and most color walls is that our color wall is made up entirely of blender fabrics which means they don't come from collections they're tone on tone so from a distance from here they look like orange and turquoise and blue but when you get up close you can see that there's a lot of texture we also are dealers for handy quilter long arm machines and baby lock sewing machines it's a little difficult for me to show you those but maybe if we can get a shot this way you can see the handy quilter Amara and the handy quilter simply 16 right here so I want to show you the things that make that we have that many other shops don't have because you're going to be watching a lot of these videos and you're going to be seeing a lot of different things one of the things that we have is this company Rebelwood um, they make a hand lotion that is just fantastic. She's a friend of mine. She lives in up in the Syracuse area, upstate New York. And she has a bunch of kids and a bunch of goats. And this is what she does for a living. And this stuff is just wonderful. You only use a little bit. Um, each of these jars is just $7.99. This one here is lavender. She's got sweet lemon and sea salt. She's got a blackberry and vanilla, um, white tea and ginger. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you is a fabric line called Karen's Garden. Um, many of my friends have heard me talk about my posse, which are the quilt shop owners from around the country. We kind of help each other out. It's a, it's a nice thing to collaborate. We participated in something called Soposium and in the begin beginning fabric created this fabric for us that is exclusive to us. So this is what the fabric looks like. This is the border fabric and this is a pattern that uses eight and a half yards of this border fabric. That's it. That's what this pattern is. Eight and a half yards of this. It's a it's really stunning, stunning, stunning quilt. And then the other thing that's unique is these circles and the circles um, counterpart are holes or, f or frames. And when you cut these in quarters, you get the components that you need to do a drunkard's path. And we have eight patterns. That can you see that well or no? Maybe over here. Um, we have eight patterns that use that drunkard's path component, and we're selling all eight patterns for nine ninety nine. These are the patterns. We also have a couple kits. I'll show you one of them. This one is a kit that we have. And you'll be happy to know that I made this quilt. <laughs> so it can't be hard. It's a pretty easy quilt to make. It's a good size throw. And it's made of the frames, the circles, and the border fabric. That's it. Simple. The, the frames and the holes. Trust me, this was really easy to put together. The 12 and a half inch square up ruler is a good thing to have if you want to make this quilt. A lot of quilters have that. If you're a new quilter, get one. We have them here in the shop. You, I'm sure that that'll help you. The other quilt, the other kit that I have is this little gnome pillow. I don't have the kilt kit ready today, but trust me, within the next 24 hours, this kit will be ready to ship out. 
so I don't know what the price is yet but he's adorable and that's a pretty easy project to make that one is made with the frame instead of the hole so that's the Karen Karen's garden collection the other thing that we have that I find interesting that we have and I don't know too many other shops that have them are these needle nannies they're metal um, holders for your needle and you could use this when you're doing handwork that's the bunny that's the dragonfly the heart and my favorite the sewing machine the way they work is when you're doing handwork you attach the needle nanny there's a metal on the uh, there's a magnet on the back see the magnet and you put the magnet underneath the fabric and you put the needle minder on the top and your needle will stick to the top so if you're working in a hoop you put it underneath the hoop put the needle nanny on the top of the hoop and you'll never lose your needle I just want to show you another line that we have that is a Jaftex line. It is the timber wolf, the timber, timber wolves. It's the timber gnomes. These guys were just so cute. I just had to have them. We're going to be reordering this fabric because it's moving out quick. And we, um, we just made a sample of a rag quilt. And again, this one will be this one will be a kit momentarily. Maybe not tomorrow, but definitely by Tuesday. Again, a nice size throw. This is so soft and cuddly. If you don't know how to make a rag quilt, it's extremely, extremely simple. I would recommend these scissors. So rag quilt scissors. They make cutting the cutting the fringe a lot easier. So you're going to cut the fringe like this, and then you throw it into the dryer, and poof, you get this. You get this effect. Sophia has one of these she likes very much. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the back of the quilt is flat. This is what the back of this quilt looks like. You don't have the fringe on the back. The fringe just comes to the front. So let me put this back. These are the fabrics in the, in the uh, timber, timber Gnome collection. And just one other quilt that I want to show you is the Owls. This is called Call of the Wild. This is a digital print. And uh, I'm an owl lover, so I just had to have this. So it has the owl and it has the cardinal, a couple of chickadees. This has been really popular. We've already um, ordered this fabric twice. And that's a kit. That's a kit. Um, you can purchase anything that I've talked about or anything that's online, but I'm going to show you a real quick way to find everything that I talked about today. Sophia is going to give you the directions here. You're going to go to our website, which is www.peacefulquilting.com. Then you'll go to the online store. That's in the upper left-hand side of the front page. Then you go to shop all the categories. And then you're going to go to, <laughs> it's, it'll, you'll go to Jaftex. Watch this. <laughs> You'll go to the, the Jaff Check this challenge. So thank you very much for spending some time with me, Angela Vec, at Peaceful Quilting in East Northport, New York. Bye.